Good day everybody, this is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Warp Forge. And today we're going to be doing the promised deck for Ultramarines. So I finally managed to gather the necessary cards, and uh, I'm going to present to you a Varro Tigurius deck. Now, that Warlord can be played in many different ways, honestly. He can, you can build him on, on a control, you can build him on vehicles. But right now, I believe the most popular as well as the most effective probably way uh, of playing this guy is to play him as an aggro warlord. Now, this guy does have a couple of things going for him. The first thing being the versatility, of course, because his ability to just generate three different types of psychic powers with um, stratagem draw, uh, a nuke, and on top of that, a shield is very versatile. But on top of that, what he can really do the main thing he has going for him in my opinion is that uh, those tactics cost uh, different so for example just to activate your ability cost two energy right the uh, card draw costs zero the nuke costs one and the shield costs two now what that means is that you could basically trigger codex on energy two three and four so he's very versatile at triggering the uh, triggering the codex as well so i do believe that that all in all makes him pretty strong now on top of that he's really good at playing aggro because he can draw stratagems on demand and that really kind of means that he's almost always gonna have his storm raven now we do have a quite a few stratagems here and i understand that perhaps that's not gonna make it as consistent when drawing but still all the stratagems that we have here either deal damage or or are there for <clears throat> versatility purposes now this deck only has one legendary card which is the humanity shield i think humanity shield is kind of underrated i don't see a lot of people using this uh been playing against captain smash Ultramarines marines a lot and this card has come in handy a lot uh, for him so i decided to give it a shot myself and it's pretty good so it just gives you that one a uh, bonus turn you need to just bring the enemy down to lethal range which is usually pretty large it can be like over 10 uh, if you're on overtime with double, uh, what's called again, double death from above and as well as your power. So it's pretty useful to just grant you that extra survivability that you might need or that ability to trade without taking tons of damage. However, this deck does have a lot of epics and the first one that is very crucial is Tactical Insight. Not only is this as, is really good because this is like the drilling site uh from horus heresy legions but on top of that the thing is that this can help you trigger codex multiple times so you trigger codex refill then trigger codex again and that can ramp up a lot we have the octavio infiltrator and some of you might ask why the hell do you have that weak card well it's not weak it gives the enemy blind and the good thing about that is that we have quite a few strong units with flank and high uh, range damage for example that is the primary Inceptor. Your primary early game removal tool, and this is really good because together with the Infiltrator, this can remove something like, for example, a Triarch Praetorium for free. And then you also have the Inceptor Sergeant, which is absolutely insane. This is probably one of the best cards that you got, so definitely grab two copies of this, no matter what deck you're playing, this is my suggestion. So it can co these things can combo really well with the Infiltrator. We have the Point Blank Shot, because there's no reason not to have this. This is the Burst Plus card draw, so... It's a, always a good uh, thing to have anything that <clears throat> also cycles cards. Uh, we're going to have the 7th Company Bike just because of the rally to deal some extra damage. So we're playing an aggro deck, so something like this is very useful. We're going to play Armored Support, and you probably notice that I'm not playing any vehicles. That's because I think that getting those vehicles uh, through Armored Support is much better. You could even omit this completely if you really want and by that i mean the late game vehicles like dreadnoughts and impulsors you could even omit this and just add more units if you wish that is like absolutely up to you we have the primaries inceptor that i already mentioned but stern guard veteran is another epic that's absolutely necessary because the amount of damage that this thing can deal if you go first and just have a good hand is absolutely obscene because it, this alone can end up dealing i don't know like 10 damage if everything goes right so this is a very good card for aggro plays and obviously you want to have that that's from above so this is like a horus heresy legions mortar strike but targeted so obviously you want to have it on the uh, aggro deck makes a lot of sense 
Uh, and you can use it on the Warlord as well. Honor Guard, just because the stats are good with the Vanguard. 4, 4, 5 with Vanguard. For 4 cost is really good. And we also have Sergeant Alectius, which is nice. Because 4 energy, 5, 4. An aggressive unit that also blinds. It's bad that it's... Um, random so i kind of choose to use only one of these guys but a lot of people use two and that makes a lot of sense as well storm raven for aoe clear that you really need you need inspired retribution for hard removal you can include one copy if you want but i choose to have two we have the primary uh impulsor so not impulsor the repulsor is the tank that i was mentioning that i do not include impulsor is really good because you can just swarm the board with this another thing that you could do if you want to go for impulsors is you can include the chaplain which can buff uh, troops a lot and it can really ramp up with these primaries intercessors which you also get for angels of death which is also another insane card and here you really have a choice you could go for double lieutenant calcius and omit something else or you could just omit calcius and go for double angels of death i just find that calcius is really good because that three damage to the enemy warlord really hurts and once again if you go first you can end up hurting the opponent a lot just with that so this is an aggro deck Mostly focused on just destroying your opponent as soon as possible. And tends to be quite effective against the Necrons. So, without further ado, let us see what we can do with this deck. I did try a couple of games um, a day ago, but... Uh, let's see how it performs today as well. It was pretty okay. <clears throat> Mostly I had trouble with the mirrors. Uh, by the way, there is a weird thing why has there only been bots lately like i think people people either stop playing ranked or they stop playing the game <laughs> okay so we're up against galen you never want to get rid of tactical insight and you always want to have octavio infiltrator and it's not a bot perfect now on turn one mostly what you really want to do is this get your scryer's gaze and draw a card and honestly speaking this is a swarm deck so this is the rare case where i'm going to choose not to go face you usually go face every turn but since uh, these guys play swarm i'm gonna have to take a lot of damage so i'd rather not do that now what i can choose to do here is i can just seize the initiative and get the inceptor or i can wait another turn and get Armored support, but there's the there's the evil Stern Guard vet, so that's what I'm gonna be playing right now. Now I could use tactical insight to trigger the codex again, but don't be too greedy on that. We just wait for the best opportunity to do that. So Okay, that's an annoying unit that I really dislike, but what can we do? So, we're going to get the Armored Support now, and let's get the Armored Support, and let's get the Dreadnought, of course. And do I just blind this? Here's what I'm thinking. Do I blind it so that I don't take extra damage? That's the question. I think I blind it, yeah. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? <clears throat> so, we cannot play this yet, but we can play it pretty soon. And I think we're going to keep Tactical Insight for when we pl can play the Dreadnought. Because against the type of deck that this guy is playing, it's really good. Because, you know, AoE. Now, real question is, what do we do here? I'm thinking of taking another turn safe. There we go. And now we can start the Dreadnought place. Which could be really good. Okay, he creates the Wild Host. That's good. That means he didn't, like, seize crazy initiative there. So, no problem. Uh-huh. Okay, and what we can do here now is we can play a Dread. Now, uh, I am thinking, should I uh, do the tactic? I think I should, yeah. Let's clear everything up. Get another Scryer's Gaze. 
Plus that damage is going to, you know, ramp up. Destroy his spirit stones so that he doesn't get too many. Uh, next turn, uh, the Redemptor isn't really good because I don't have one energy to support it for the Codex. But I have a lot of good stuff to play next turn, like AoE, Heart Removal, Inceptor Sergeant, Primaries Inceptor, so there's like a ton of things. Oh, he has no answer. Really? That's not good, my boy. Ah, still attacks it, I see. Okay, okay. If I get a one energy card here, it will be funny. Okay, maybe I don't, but it's fine. So I'm going to drop this. And this is what I'm going to do. As this is what I was saying, guys. You see that I need three energy? No problem. Okay. So that really helps you trigger those uh, codexes. The only range where you're really bad with your codex is one. Because you only have the Octavio Infiltrator for that, pretty much. Ooh. Is he gonna take 8 damage? No, 5 damage. Okay. Fair enough. He was supposed to do that. Now, I'm not gonna drop the Dreadnought yet. <clears throat> that would be unnecessary. We'll do this. We'll get another Scryer's Gaze going. Okay, now he is in trouble because I have 10 damage in my hands, which is uh, basically very close to lethal range. So all I really need to do now is not, not get bursted from 21 to 0 and I just win. What does this do? Oh, so that's an anti-flyer. Okay, I did not remember that. So, which is the correct way to do this? We're going to do it the safe way. And we have lethal. Even if she drops a big front line, we're fine. <coughs> That stun came in too late. Okay, now we can take him out without problemo. There we go! GG, GG. Ooh, 36 points. Wow, that guy was probably high on the ladder. Let me check. Because it doesn't... Yeah, he's 19. Okay. And I'm 24. Alright, that's good. That means we also beat a pretty decent player. So, let's go for the next game as well. So, as I said, one of the most uh, difficult things for um, uh, Tigurius, as I have noticed at least, is the mirror matchup. The mirror matchup is usually a bit of a problem. Mirror matchup or Kalgar. You by mirror I mean like Ultramarines matchup because Ultramarines matchup becomes like a shit fest very easily. And it's really about who gets a better hand, who plays it smarter, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hustle. Okay, once again, no bot. That's good. As I said, against Madreal Galen, I'm going to play a little bit defensive because these guys play Swarm decks and, you know, you'll need some HP to regain board control. Having this combo is really good. I failed to demonstrate it to you guys last game, but I think we can't do that this game, so no problem. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you don't really need to be in a hurry. You can spend like the first uh, two, three turns just drawing if you want. It's fine. But then like around like turn four, you already start unloading your stuff. For example, now we have a very good play. Let me demonstrate. So, as always, we play the Infiltrator. 
And that allows my Inceptor to... Boom. Take it out for free. I get the gem. And now I have good bird control. That he has to kind of try and remove. And when once he wastes his resources removing that... Then I gain initiative again with Primaris Impulsor. Of course, this is a good card. Uh, he takes it out for free because of the Sniper. Uh, this is an epic, right, by the way? Let me check. No, this is a rare. That's a very good card for the Eldar, by the way. Eldar players, keep that in mind. So, of course, he cleared my board and I still took damage, but I'm still in charge of the board. So, as long as I keep board control, my aggro can unload. So... You'll see what exactly I mean. Uh-huh. Stuns the Warlord. Takes two damage. That's fine. And what we're going to do here is... Is actually a bit questionable, to be honest. Death won't take me without a fight. Ah, uh, that's not cool. That's not cool. They need to fix this. Like, things working on dead enemies is not cool. They need to fix that. They need to fix that. I hope it gets fixed soon. So, in Horus Heresy Legions, for example, that doesn't happen. If a unit gets removed, your ability does not follow them beyond the grave, right? So, I wanted that to hit uh, Medrael here. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good at all, but that is not too catastrophic either. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to play this, and we're going to get this. Shoot here. Do this. And take this out. Okay. Next we have the Angels of Death coming, if there's something, and hard removal. So we have some things to work with. Yeah, that needs to that needs to go. That absolutely needs to go. Okay, the tactical insight. That is pretty good. You know what I think? I'm going to allow myself to take 3 damage. Because I'd rather have some board control than lose another intercessor, right? Inceptor or whatever these things are called. Intercessor. All these primaries names look alike, man. Repulsor, Impulsor, Inceptor. Intercessor, like, come on. <laughs> so, in case... Well, he's got very little Spirit Stones. And he doesn't seem to be able to re seize the board control easily, so that's good. Okay, takes out one. Fine. Takes out the other. Also fine. And what do we do here? So I think we do this. We do this. We do this. This. And this. And yeah, take some damage, I guess. Don't really feel too keen on that, but we got board control again, so that's pretty good. This doesn't look like aggro gameplay, does it? Right now, I'm playing this more on uh, control. But that's because she can swarm. So I cannot play overly strong aggro. Alright. What's next? That's absolutely fine. Ooh, you took a lot of damage there. You took a lot of damage there. My friend. Let me now think about how to do this. So, if we blind this... Uh, 
8. This is 8 damage, right? Then this is 5. Then this is 7. Each path must be chosen with care. Okay, wait, I think I got him. I think I have him. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. The lethal range is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Okay, I got him. We almost missed lethal there, but... Uh, if we didn't have lethal, my plan was to just go all in and use humanity's shield, and that would pre pretty much be it. So, that would be pretty good. Okay, 2-0 for us. 2-0 for us. That's very, very good. So don't forget, you always have that little get out of the jail free card just to go face and then pop humanity shield. If you have like guaranteed lethal next turn, like with death from above and stuff like that, and it can be really annoying for your opponent because they realize that it's just over <laughs> when they pop it. Oh, okay, so we have the trash <laughs> Psyker against the non-trash Psyker, right? And it's a bot on top, oh my god. Ultramarine, stand with weapons ready. Why hold back? Unleash your true potential. Oh, they have an interaction. Nice. It's actually funny that he's telling you to unleash your full potential. While basically being, <laughs> well, basically being the worst, not the worst, but one of the worst warlords. I didn't want to play this because it would then be taken out next turn easily. Oh, okay, there you go. Face. Yeah, just like expected. Let's now take that out for free. Absolutely. Thank you. And honestly speaking, we can go aggro here. <clears throat> Not only because it's a bot, it's like a... Uh... It's chaos, and against chaos, it's better to just finish it off. Okay. We got a beautiful play here. We take this out. We drop the honor guard. We take out the rubric marine. And there's that. Sorcerer. Of course you have. Come on, come on. And face. Execution, sure. Throne of the Heretic, okay. Oh, and that's also random. That's so funny, like, not only does he have the same ability as me that he cannot choose, but it's also random. Like, Black Legion is being done dirty, man. Like, no like that's basically a worse wor version of Tigerius. Okay, GG it is. Yeah. Fortunately, we are not weak enough to lose against bots, so... 
Uh, I actually lost against the bot yesterday, by the way. <laughs> as funny as it is. <coughs> Next game. Let's hope we find another uh, opponent very soon. I don't like this lack of people today. Is the game already dying? Are you kidding? Aha, uh -huh. do we keep this? I don't think we do. Nice, it's not a bot. What is yet to come is for us to decide. Let's get some action, boys. Let's get some action, boys. Stop boom run. Ours wanna hit your heads. Huh, sure, no problem. Understood. <laughs> no. Let's not be monkeys. I wanted to just play stir <laughs> right away, but nah. That's too nuts. Okay, so I do not have my blinding unit. Mm. How do we really want to do this? Uh, this, this is a sticky one. Okay, you know what? Let's do it like this. I don't want to waste the Inse Intercessor or whatever it's called. Uh, Inceptor. <laughs> Watch that stupid cop of yours. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that unit. The voice line is just... I don't know. Cracks me up. Eh, gonna have to take damage to the face. But what can I do? Watch that stupid cup of yours. Oh, don't go here, please. Ah. Out here and face me, Claw. I will face your Claw. Do I? What's the play? I think that's the play because he's going a little too aggressive. Red, wow, okay, that's good. Went a little, little bit slower than standard. Oh, okay, that's that's actually quite okay. No, it's not okay anymore. Great. Uh, what do I do then, if that is the case? Okay, that's good. And drop this. Oh, God, the orc is pushing us, boys. The orc is pushing us hard. Let's see what else he has in mind. Or up his claw. Okay, those boys are not a problem. We'll, we're absolutely fine with that. There you go.
Ooh, Scorch Assault. Oh, that's so not good. He dealt maximum to it. That is no good, boys. That is no good. I'm risking right now, but sometimes you gotta risk. Sometimes you just have to risk. When you're behind and when you're losing, it's better to take a risk. When you're not behind, it's better to just stay stable and not risk anything. Whoa. Okay, that's good. I'm alive. He's gonna attack here. face okay now i'm gonna try to get my humanity shield if he has proper killy we're done if not we still have a chance to draw humanity shield and just then then just finish him off okay red wad that's okay grots we're fine with grots spanner more grots more grots and Arda's nails okay that is pretty much our cue to either win the game or... Oh, actually, we win. <laughs> we actually win. GG! We got it, boys. We got it. Never thought we'd win that one because it was like... We were too behind. Uh, collect this. So, deploy 20 troops with flying. Oh my god, that's an annoying mission. Okay, so we're 3-0 for now. Uh, well, the bot doesn't really count, I guess. We played two Madreals. We played this one. And we played against the bot. Okay, 4-0... And not including the bot, it's going to be 3-0. That's good. That's a good score. We're climbing the ladder as well, so let's play another game. Now, uh, till it finds an opponent. To compare Tigurius and Gilim, not Gilliman, sorry, Kalgar. Uh, I don't know. I still prefer Tigurius over him. Uh, the main reason there being... The versatility that this guy has. Though, what's his face? Kalgar does have the Kalgar does have the added bonus of uh, having more HP, and can also draw troops while you can also draw tactics. But oh, what? Oh, interesting. Okay. That's a bot. And I hate these bots. Okay. Orky Daka is dead killy. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Uh huh? That's a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> Gaskol. Mag Uruk Tharaka. 
Okay, be a good boy and blind the orc for me. <coughs> That's perfect. Tigo's face, oh my god. Smart bot. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt big time. Dropping the Redemptor at energy turn. Of oh, shit. Maybe I'm not dropping it. Maybe I am actually not dropping it, right? Best get rid of that. Grot Vanguard, sure, that's no problem. Stop moving. I just want to hit your head. Oh, the Redemptor would be so good right now. Actually, do I play this? Yep. Really, bro? Clean up the grots, at least. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not good. That's no good. Who's that stupid gob of, that stupid gob of yours? Oh. I'm gonna risk. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, that's that's a full clean. That is a full clean. Full clear. Okay. Did I miss lethal? I missed lethal. <laughs> I just missed lethal. But it's bot, so we don't care. Since it's a bot, we just don't care. <laughs> Should have just went for death from above, but once again, since this is a bot, no, no problem. Okay, I hope there's the next opponent is not gonna be a bot. There's too many today for my liking. Or I'll just have to shut them off, I guess. Maybe we should play unranked to find human players. Let me actually try that for a second. I, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering, maybe I can find someone in practice. Aren't people online? Like, what's going on? Okay, wait. Disable the bots. See if we can find one more human player. 
That will be our sixth game. So three was against people, two was against bots. Uh, we won all of them. So let's see if we can fi find the last opponent as well. Come on. There has to be somebody playing. Oh, finally. Okay, we got another orc boy. Okay, company bikes are not not a bad uh, call for the start. This can help me a lot. Real question is... Oh man, I wanted to go first. Okay, so he is a going aggro, so... That kind of means I don't have to go aggro. So I can just let him do the, all the heavy lifting. I already have my combination of uh, Infiltrator plus Primaris. If he just draws this turn, I'll play Armored Support. If not, then um, I can deal with whatever he pulls. I didn't want that to happen. Give me a Dread. Actually... That ain't too bad. This is not too bad. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. A friggin' Makari de Grot again, huh? Oh my god. Makari is gonna beat our ass so hard. The Green Horde! Whoa. Oh, that, that's not, that's not good. That's no good. That's no good. I mean, I could deal with it. I could. Don't tell me he also has art as nails. My fucking god. That's a god hand right there. If I've seen any. What do I do? What do I even do here? Oh, I got another one. That's that's actually pretty good. If he also has the deal that two damage for every unit card, I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, it's not bomb. Sure. Fine. Oh Christ, what the hell? What the little hell? Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> okay, we cannot stop on this game. I feel freaking violated. <laughs> what the hell was that? Give him a GG there. <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't want to talk about what just happened there. <laughs> the heck? My god. I just I'm just gonna 
Ignore that ever ha ever happened. Okay. Okay, who's our opponent again? Uh, another Varro. Okay, let's swap everything then. No, thank you. No orbital bombardment. This crazy, done? stupid card. Okay, draw a stratagem. And go aggro. My god, what was that? The orc was... <laughs> it's already playing a card. I'm not sure if that's... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? So, that's already two damage by this. I'm gonna count how much damage this thing ends up dealing. If he doesn't have any flankers. Okay, blind, sure. That's fine. Point blank shot, eh. But I mean, he did force him to waste a lot of cards, so that works, I guess. Gonna get the dread. Since we're approaching energy 6 very soon. We have double Inceptor, which is great. We have the point blank shot, which is also good. Uh, Firstborn is a good card, by the way. I'm just not sure. Um, so that's the type of aggro he's playing. Okay. Understandable. So he's playing like Omega aggro. In that case... I just want to get some cards here. And pass. He's ahead, that's for sure. Okay, so... This is what we do here. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. This is like a perfect scenario. So, what we do is we blind. We drop this bad boy. Now, if we had uh, a refill there, it would have been crazy. But, unfortunately, we don't. So, no use dreaming about that. He has to play it very smart here, because I have lethal next turn, if the Dreadnought survives. So, what's he gonna do? Fair. Next. What comes next? Point blank. And finally. You know, this is now now what he did is crazy. Like now what he did is crazy. But then again it's not. Maybe he assumed that I might not have that from Nah, I think it was still a little risky. I think it was still a little risky. But then again, as I said, when you're behind, it's better to risk. 
probably he also had double death from above and maybe maybe he had something anyway all right so i think our performance was uh pretty okay uh let, let us actually check how we did wait uh battle lock yeah there you go so one one lost and one 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 from yesterday's uh games i won one lost against medrail one one against world claimer lost against uriel one against swarm lord lost against kalgar won these two lost against kalgar and Th thraka oh this this was this was um bot game in order to just do the quest so now you ignore that yeah these are bot games yeah overall i think it's performing pretty well so uh how much did we gain in rank just a little bit just a little bit so that one loss put us down from 20 basically or we would have been at 20 or maybe even 19. overall i think it's uh, a pretty good ver version of the varo deck i would say this is more of a mid-ranged aggro so i think that if you are looking for a very balanced varo deck that can you know pretty much do everything like good early game good mid game and so so late game but at the same time is pretty aggressive and has an insane lethal range i think that this deck will be for you so uh thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one